In this video, I'm going to show you how to mount your artwork in a float frame and ensure you get an even reveal all the way around. Hey everyone, I'm Joel Anderson of Joel Anderson Art. I put out new videos every week with my tips for the artist entrepreneur doing it all themselves. So you have a float frame. So the commercial ones you can buy at the art supply stores may have a ridge already installed in them. To, you know, you've just popped your painting in that and uh, it's already pre-centered, you're ready to go. Even still, follow this process. And particularly if you have, like this, one that I custom made, you know, it does not have any ridges, it's completely flat. We're going to pop the painting in and we need to make sure that it's completely centered and not kind of screwball because it's... Now, as long as you kind of lock it down, that's the key, it'll be easy from there. So the two main things you're going to need is my handy dandy, what I use parchment paper. So from Reynolds uh, Kitchens, this is, uh, you can find this in the grocery store right next to the aluminum foil. And the other thing, business cards. So hopefully you have some business cards. Let's get started. So you can do this all just using the business cards, but um, I like to give myself a little head start using uh, a piece of cut up yucca board. These are an eighth of an inch thick, and um, that way you only use, have to use half as many business cards. But the idea is take your parchment paper, cut it about the same size as your uh, uh, yucca board, or you know, larger than the business card. So this is about you know, one and a half inches by, what is that, four inches? And you're just going to fold this around half of it and you're just going to slip it down into position here and then you know the first set maybe yeah. five business cards in each slot One, two three four five and you're going to slide it in so between the yucca board on the outside and against the outside edge with that parchment paper because we don't want the, the painting to stick to the yucca board and you don't want the uh, edge of the, the paint or the painting frame to stick. So we're just going to go round and round and round and put these on the outside. All right, so we have our initial set put in, and now just go you know, one by one by one until they really don't squeeze in anymore. And that one's really tight. So from there, it's set. You're good to go underneath and uh, screw in the uh, screws to, to mount it to your frame. Now we're inserting the screws. So these are encaustic, same thing with oils. You may not need to do this with uh, acrylics, but I like to put, a, again, a piece of parchment paper on the top of the painting. So you need to push down on that. And the process here is kind of like changing a tire. So we're going to go corner to corner, switch, and then corner to corner. So we don't want to put all one side in and work away around. We want to kind of make it you know, evenly distributed. And again, if you've got uh, some power screwdrivers or drills, go ahead and use those. I am old school, so I'm using the old-fashioned uh, screwdriver. All right, so all the screws are in the back. The next thing is just to kind of wiggle out the, the business cards and pull out the, you know, the spacers. Okay, so there we go. 
You know, the even quarter inch reveal around the whole painting. So there you go. I have some links below to all the main materials, the Yucca board, the, uh, the parchment paper, if you want to buy those online. And if you found this helpful, you know, please give the video a like. And uh, if you want more tips for the uh, artist or entrepreneur doing all themselves, please consider subscribing to my uh, channel. Thank you.